I'm here with Sergi Banos, CTO of WeFox and co-founder of what has now become the largest insured tech uh, company in the world with about 320 million in revenue uh, last year. Um, they started at the very beginning uh, and uh, I'm pleased now to hear the other side of the spectrum of the whole investment uh, format. Uh, Sergi, thank you very much for taking the time to speaking with me. Thank you very much for having me here and the invitation. Sergi, uh, in your journey with WeFox, can you tell us a little bit about your impressions and your experiences? How did you start from the very beginning and uh, how did you get where you are now? Absolutely. So I was one of the first employees. Um, at the beginning, we were just uh, with the duty of launching the customer application, the first MVP in the market, value our value proposition, and being able to, to really um, make sure that we can deliver something. Um, and later, my, cha my role changed completely with the growth of the company, like uh, growing the team, uh, continue being the tech uh, savvy for the, for the entire team, but later growing more as executive, handling um, all the technological aspects and scaling up the team until what we are today that is 120 uh, people uh, organization in the technology in uh, 1200 people uh, in the entire company. Wow that's an immense growth. Um, in what kind of time frame did that happen and what were the challenges? How did you maintain this agile uh, tech savvy way of working? It's a good question. So it has been a seven year journey. Uh, the agile and the agility part of the team has been something that has been evolving with, with us, with the different challenges that we face day to day. Mainly about maintaining our culture, maintaining the people, uh, giving the tools and giving to the technology to the employees that are the ones that they can take the best decisions to really carry forward the, the company. But the biggest challenges, for sure, let the grow, validate of the business model, taking some hard decision of business models that didn't work, unification of brandings and several that I can be basically explain, explaining because at the end that's a, a startup journey. So digital transformation is a, a continuity let's say but uh, were you ever did you ever have like a phase where you said okay now we need to transform and we need to look at this because it's it's critical? For WeFox, always we have been digital, we have been born in the cloud, so we never had this digital transformation or this cloud um, migration and things like this. But we have been a lot investing a lot it's an, in automation, how we can make it smarter our processes, how we can invest in AI models that really automate uh, the work that is, um, 100 people is doing in the back office and things like this. That's a, cost, a constant journey that doesn't stop, every single new process has to get revisited, automated, retraining, and that's the journey that we focus. Have you received any uh, outside help and support in terms of maybe consulting or something? Yeah, we always balance the work between um, internal development, that is the 90% of the capacity, but we also use uh, the best talent from the outside. And we also select the best talent in depending on the solution. We focus on our value proposition for the customer, um, while some things that, for example, could be electronic signature, underwriting rules, could be really specific for a particular process, we externalize it and outsource it to our other companies. And um, in getting funding and uh, getting investors on board with your idea, uh, what was the process like? Did they look at um, your culture as well as your processes? Depend a little bit of the round and the moment of the company. They look at more culture and the people responsible. Um, at the end, they are giving you money and you have uh, they want that it's in good hands. Later, when you grow and you are uh, in a better or bigger, uh, what they are looking it's more like what you have. Um, what you have should be working and that you prove it with financials and um, with a, maybe a technological DD. And uh, what you do always is uh, cooperation between all the different departments, finance, technology, um, the CEO uh, for the VC and, and everything. And everything together, tied together, should make sense. We have heard this several times today that the go-to-market strategy, the vision is just as important as the, the tech culture, etc. Um, do you have any hot tips for aspiring entrepreneurs who found, find themselves in a position where you were before? 
Yeah, absolutely. It's like believe in yourself is what I always say. Because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody's going to believe in you. That's the, the basic understanding. If uh, later you are going to be looking for funding, things, uh, think if you will give you money from your pocket to yourself. If it's uh, like this, perfect. Uh, but if not, work on the underlying problem, on all the problems that you see. Thank you, Sergi. Thank you so much. I wish uh, we could talk longer, but unfortunately we only have so much time in the world. Thank you. Thank you very much.